This video is all about tabs in LiveMinders. This is a tab, and underneath the tab can be subtabs. This allows you to easily organize information in your binder. If I want to add a tab, I just click on this yellow arrow and you'll see some tab options. I can add a tab, add a subtab, that'll go under my current tab. I can clear the tab contents, move tab right to left, delete the tab, or open the advanced tab menu. So I'll just add a tab. I can add information to my tab or sub tab by just typing in or cutting and pasting a URL into this box and clicking on insert. Now you notice that the URL is what ends up in the tab title, but I can just change this by clicking up there and typing. I can move this tab right or left from this menu, but if I wanted to move it all the way across, the quicker way is to go to the advanced tab menu. Now I just went there through the edit menu, but you can also do that by clicking here and opening the advanced tab menu. So if I want to move this tab all the way to the right, I would just click, click, click from here and it moves over. Now this menu also lets me move tabs to subtabs. I would just select which tab I wanted to move it under here and move subtabs up to regular tabs as well. So this is a nice menu to help you move your tabs around. Now the easiest way to add a website to your binder is by using LiveBinder It. When you find a website that you want to save, you just click on LiveBinder It. Then you can quickly add that web page to your existing binders, and all of your existing binders are here in this drop down. So if I click on Add to Existing Binder and then open that binder, you'll see that it opens to my new subtet that I just added. And the nice thing about LiveBinder it is that it automatically puts the tab title into the tab. So that's a brief overview of tabs and subtabs in LiveBinders.